Yo guys, what is going on? I'm next to bring you guys back here a team building video for this week's UCL match uh, that we'll be having against David, sensational GP, the cutest YouTuber, PokeTuber, a lot of things. It's funny. That nigga is so funny. So I urge you to check him out and check out his perspective when you see the actual video go up this weekend because he's he's one of the funniest people I know. Um, and then give the video a thumbs up, leave me support down below as well. But pretty much I'm fighting him this week and I have his team kind of written down and what I'm gonna, expecting him to bring because David's team is kind of meh and like I only see, eh, I don't know how to put it, but I only see him bring these kind of mods. I'm expecting him to bring Kingdra, T-Tar, Superior, Dubleg, Mega Gallade, and Togetic. That's what I'm expecting him to bring. Uh, maybe he could bring x somewhere in between. Uh, maybe he could even bring... Huh, I don't even fucking know. Maybe he could bring, uh, I doubt I'll bring Avalug, but maybe he'll bring something else. I don't know. Um, but that's pretty much what I'm expecting him to bring so far, whereas I'm bringing a Choice Scarf Keldeo. Very standard. It just hits everything hard. And if you notice, I have Surfer for Hydro Pump because I will miss Sur I will miss Hydro Pump for the life of me. Um, so it's quite standard. I don't really need to go too into it. Um, oh, he might bring Slow King to stop this thing. Yo, what am I talking about? So he might bring Slow King over Superior. I'm um, gonna have fire types, so we could stop that. So like Slow King Walls, my Ente, Keldeo, uh, but the new trade Mega Hound Doom, which I got from Kristen, shout out to her. Um, but uh, yeah, he, I could see him bringing Slow King somewhere in between, maybe Superior. He could maybe pull that out for, you know, maybe even Togetic, but then it's his only spinner, so maybe even T Tar, but then it's the only one that puts up rock, so it's like, eh, I don't know, but we'll see what we can do. Um, so, I mean, this thing, Slow King does well at one on one, but I'm not too worried because I have six other mods, and it's never one on one, it's always 6v6. Um, I got this Slow King named Itachi, foolish little brother. Oh, no, this is also, also everything I have named after Nick, because last time I bought Nappy, everything we named after David, and it'd be a little weird to fight David with everything named after David. So, I named everything after Sick because he's our lord and savior shout out to sacred i love his videos <laughs> but i got this uh hound doom here this mega hound doom which i did trade a mega beauty of mega hound room uh with Kristen. so we got this and i did that because i noticed that i couldn't touch joey and if i get a top four i'm gonna fight him again and the thing can stop his reuniclus so roll a dark pulse and flinches and stab him super effective so yeah um this thing is quite standard as well i have uh three attack Ut willow just to catch uh t-tar to catch tyrantrum to catch mega gallade on the switch in catch dublade especially catch a Especially do blade. Um of HP fire for the T-Tar is times four, so it should still be doing a lot, even with the sand stream being up. Uh flamethrower and dark pulse are just there for coverage and stab, of course. Um, and then again, yeah, I don't need HP grass because Dark Pulse is stabbing it does so much to Slow King. Even if he's especially defensive, even if he's AV, it does, still does a lot. And I have the chance, 20% chance to flinch, which I highly doubt that I'm going to flinch because, come on guys, it's me. I'm running Servo or Hydro because I will miss. And I'm running Flamethrower or Fire Blast because I will miss. And I'll probably miss every Willow, but hey, we do what we got to do, you know? Then I got this... Uh, Almamola, this fucking fish is so fat. It's here to wall his mega gallade, his T-Tar, his Tarantrum, his Avalug, any physical monster that he has, especially even goes physical Kingdra. I pretty much stop it with this thing. I have Rocky Emma to take chip damage. Um and then I have knockoff as well, which he probably won't even expect. But I run knockoff just to catch the X Blood because X Blood is very scary. Because if you look at it right now, he two shots everything in my entire team. He two shots everything, and nothing really comes in. But the thing is, those uh, X Blood is relatively slow, and everybody on my team is fast with flying shit, except for this guy. So pretty much what I can do is take a hit, and or maybe I can catch him on the switch. I'm guaranteed to take a hit right now, specs. But um, well, I wouldn't want to say guaranteed. Don't count me in on that. But pretty much. Um, um, I will catch him if he ever wants to swap in Exploit on the Elmamola, which most likely he will. I've put enough RU to where a lot of people have swapped in Exploit on Elmamola because they're like, all right, okay, it's a good check. I could just blow him with a Specs Boom Burst, but I, it's knockoff to where it will not do nowhere near as much damage. And trust me, the Specs makes a huge difference. It's like 20, 30% gap. So, um, yeah. Uh, Scald there for coverage, you know, burns and such. That would be nice. And then which protect standard. Wait, I got the small little Aiden attack just to hit this little pookie harder i got some minus in speed as well just so that scald and knockout can be doing decent chunks and uh yeah and then we got this excadrill which is sand rush at lefty it's pretty much like um i how, how should i put this first off i don't know why all the levels are 100 
Um, I only put them at 50. Like, I just had them at 50 before this recording. So, I don't know why they're all at level 100. I probably put them at 100 because I went asked Mo. Mo did gen my team. When I asked him to gen it, he said that he come to gen it at level 100s. Um, so, um, yeah. So, yeah. So, I need to check to see if all the... You know, if he gender right and shit like that, but um, that was weird. That was really weird. But I got this uh, extra drill here, which is pretty much going to be abusing his Tyranitar because chances are he'll probably bring the Tyranitar. And this way I can take advantage of the Sand Stream and run Sand Rush and then kind of wreak havoc on his team. Because if you think about it right now, what I got in this notepad is Togetic, Mega Gallade, Dewblade, Superior, Titar, and Kingdra. If I get Sand Rush in, no one really comes in on this extra drill. Like that, that, that Kingdra's getting two KO'd, Superior's getting two KO'd. Well, Superior might take three hits. He might take he might take two hits, but he won't take them well. Um, the Dublade is getting two KO'd. The Megalod is getting two KO'd or one shot. And the Togetic, oh boy, that that bitch is getting two KO'd. So it's like this thing just wreaks havoc. And I don't want. I kind of want the lefty for you know residual HP. It'll be nice uh, since I'm bringing Titar, and I'll just be like fuck it to the rocks. But uh, my spin as well, and then I got Iron Head for the Togetic and shit like that uh, for coverage as well. And then I got EQ, which is really good on the, um, it's really good just for coverage, the stab, you know, it's, it's stab, it's like a fucking truck. Uh, next thing we got as well is, actually, I probably should talk about this investment because you probably all like really freaked out. So let me talk about this investment right here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we're doing this live. What I got right here is this, uh, this thing is basically supposed to be outspeeding, I think it's Kingdra, is it not? Yeah, it outspeeds Kingdra by one point, a max speed, timid nature, Kingdra. And then I made this Shaman pretty much be able to outspeed a uh, max speed, timid nature, Exploud as well. And really the only thing that was wor kind of worrying me is a Kingdra, if I was gonna outspeed or not. Um, but I pretty much made it to where uh, I can outspeed uh, the Kingdra with this uh, this guy and the Shaman's bulky enough to where I can outspeed uh, the Exploud. Which now, I guess if we're getting into that, I guess we just go right back into that. Um, whoops, 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 whoops. Hang on, that's the wrong shit. We do this live, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's pretty much why I have it there. I got a 12 to 12 on uh, H investment in ugh, I cannot speak English today. A 12 investment in HP and the four just there for whatever. It's just maybe take a skull and off chance in the sand. It's whatever. I got this Electrasto, pretty standard AV. I'm running Thunderbolt over Volswitch this time just because I want to get a I, I'm just saying fuck it to initiative and I'd rather just get power because he has a Togetic and Kingdra uh, Drain Punch is there for the Titar uh, Flamethrower is there off chance brings the Avalug or the Dewblade especially is those knock off there for just switch ins and taking items off and then we got this guy Shaman I'm still running Seed Flare it's gonna be a new one because I released the old one I really did you think I'm playing I really did uh, it's bulky enough to where it can take a plus 2 HP Fire and Leaf Storm from a modest life orb or timid life orb <clears throat> uh timid life orb superior and uh, i have air slash to kind of just dwindle that down i also have air slash as well uh just for coverage as well sometimes if i don't want to you know rely on c flare and then at the same time i have for the superior and then i had it for someone else too the mega gallade yeah so that should be good shit indeed that should definitely be good shit indeed uh earth parts there as well uh, for like t-tar and like especially dewblade dewblade is a priority in why there because dewblade is really scary as well i don't have anyone that really saves which is in a dewblade outside of Almamola. and if i lose Almamola and keldia dewblade is super scary so and if you sub sd which could be scary i doubt it but it could be scary and uh, yes, yeah, so I'm pretty much bulky enough to where I can take uh, I can take moves uh, from Superior at plus two, and then I can do this on the Life Orb damage and get him off the Air Slash, which he does about like 48 min. So um, I pretty much just blow it away. And that is the team, guys. So if you guys can give the video a thumbs up, uh, look out for the video this weekend, the match this weekend. It's gonna be hype. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna make you guys proud. We're gonna be three three. Unfortunate uh, with the nappy loss, we would have been. Um, what is it? After Joey, we were two and two, uh, and then yeah, would have been three and we would have been. After Joey, we're yeah, were we two and two? No, we were two and one. After Joey, and then we would have been like three and two, but unfortunately we're two and three, which is backwards. I'm gonna make it three and three, and then we're gonna cast right back up because after David, I got a battle Dan, which is gonna be really hard. Um, but I feel like I could win that. So again, if you guys can give the video a thumbs up, your support would be great. And I'm going to be getting out of here. Bye. Bye.